Yo guys, it's Mr. Exploit and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to allow Volcano through your firewall. So you may be encountering an error where it says your ISP or blah blah blah, maybe blocking the connection, whatever, and you can't access Volcano. I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully fix that. So step one is trying to allow Volcano through your firewall. So what you want to do is you want to start by going to the search bar, search for allow an app and it should come up with this option right here allow an app through windows firewall you want to click on that and once we've got this loaded up you now need to find where you have volcano installed so my volcano is in a folder called roblox tings in windows exploits free exploits and here is my volcano folder now you've got the location of volcano you just want to click on change settings allow another app browse and you want to head over to where you have Volcano, the location that we just loaded up, Free Exploits, Volcano, and we need to add both of these applications to the Windows Firewall Allow list. So the updater and the UI. So I'm going to start by adding the UI. And now I'm going to add the updater. And I think that should be it. Let me just double check the bin folder. Yeah, the bin folder should be fine. So you just need to add those two applications and that is as simple as that that's how you allow volcano for your windows firewall now if you're still experiencing any kind of blocks if you're getting the same error that says your isp might be might be blocking the connection whatever then you need to download something called cloudflare warp google cloudflare warp and you want to click on this website right here where it says the free app that makes your internet faster once you're on here you want to click on the windows download so just download this, install this, and there are a few other options as well that you guys can try out if this doesn't work. Let me just show you another option. You can use this one called Next DNS if, if Cloudflare doesn't work. You can also try Proton VPN as well, which is one of my favorite VPNs. It is free to use. They do have a free option. So I do recommend trying that. Just try a few different VPNs mess around with your dns if cloudflare warp doesn't work anyways once cloudflare warp is downloaded you want to install it like so okay so we've finished the cloudflare warp setup i'm not sure if this will launch automatically it don't look like it's going to launch automatically so i'm just going to load cloudflare warp there we go press enter on that wait for it to launch real quick okay so here's cloudflare warp it will be in your little taskbar down here so you just click on this this is cloudflare warp we double click that and here we have it right here we just literally press this button it's going to click cloudflare warp enabled we're now connected to cloudflare warp we open up volcano we should have no problems you should be good to go like i said if you still experience issues then go try next dns proton vpn or another kind of vpn have a play around with your dns and if you still have problems then try disabling any antivirus software you may have. Make sure Windows virus and threat protection is not interfering. I have mine completely disabled, as you can see. My Windows security, if it actually loads, is completely disabled right now, and I don't use any antivirus software, so I know that I have no antivirus installed. If you have no idea if you even have antivirus software installed, head over to Control Panel, you can search for it. Click on Uninstall a Program, and literally just scroll down this list until you see any type of antivirus software that you might accidentally have installed without knowing. Believe it or not, there's so many people that have antivirus softwares on their PC without even realizing and then complaining that Volcano doesn't work and it's because they have some kind of software blocking it. So check for McAfee, check for Avast, check for all of those well-known ones, either remove them or going to them and enable, allow Volcano through that. So that's about it from me. If you guys still have errors after trying all of these steps, there really is nothing else you can do, honestly. Like, I am feel really bad for you guys, but you're probably better off just trying a different Roblox executor. Following the steps in this video should help. It should work. It fixes it for me if I ever get that problem, but I've never had my ISP or connection or whatever blocking volcano so that's about it for me comment down below if this video helped you out and let me know if you tried a different fix that i haven't spoken about in this video that also worked for you so that's about it for me subscribe leave a like if you haven't already turn on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace